love, be love three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. You guys, we're gonna try something new today. I'm excited about this meal because I've seen it on um, YouTube. And this was called, let me show y'all what it's called. It's called the wrap the spaghetti in ground beef and throw it in the oven for 30 minutes. Now, I know some of y'all have seen it. I'm gonna start, uh, this is my meat, uh, hamburger meat. Some of y'all may have seen it. It looks weird, but it says it, it's supposed to be so good. So I'm gonna try it out, y'all. Y'all go try it out with me or watch me try it out, okay? So I got ground beef right here, y'all. Ground truck. I got some seasons in here. Now you can add whatever seasons you want, but um, I'm gonna show y'all, uh, um, y'all can look it up. It's called, the name of it is wrap the spaghetti in ground beef and throw it in the oven for 30 minutes. So, the spaghetti, y'all, raw spaghetti. So right now, I seasoned it with accent, some, some pepper, garlic powder, onion, pow onion powder, and some seasoning salt. So we want to get that all in. Yeah, I got gloves now, y'all. Gloves, okay? I ordered me some gloves. I wanted some black gloves, but you know, they ain't gonna come in time. And so here is another one. I'm just, I'm just massaging all of those uh, nice, nasty nice spices in. Y'all know what I'm saying? But I'm saying use the spices you want. They say use rosemary, thyme. What else they use? They use a, a, a variety of stuff. But with me, I just wanted to use my own stuff, the garlic powder. And I use uh, total seasoning, which is an uh, Italian seasoning anyway. So I got a lot of Italian um, herbs and stuff in it. So that works for me. Okay, y'all. So I'm trying this out with y'all. That's going to be my thumbnail. Okay, so I got some spaghetti on the side. So apparently you're supposed to smash this bad boy out like this. I got my pot heating up because y'all know this pot pan and this uh it don't get hot like that. It don't get hot like that, girl. Girl, it don't get hot like that. So, so I'm gonna make it fat as I can, y'all. So y'all see this. This is how mine's look right here. You see? So we're gonna try to make that work. And then this one. Hopefully mine's not too I don't think it's too big because they they had a lot of meat wrapped around it. So I think that's enough season. So it it requires you to have this is gonna be look weird, weird, y'all. Cause it looked this so weird to me when I seen it. I was like, what? How in the world is that gonna work? But it looked like it worked. We're gonna see if it works because if it's nasty, I am not finna eat it. Y'all gonna see in that video, I'm gonna be like, did it turn out right or not? That's what I like doing videos like that. So basically, y'all, y'all see my so I'm supposed to take. A thing of this. Y'all, that's what they said. And wrap it. Wrap the spaghetti in it. So basically, I'm doing this. And I'm supposed to wrap the spaghetti around it. So this is what it's supposed to be looking like. <laughs> See? Don't do what I did. But I'm still gonna put these bad boys back in. Y'all see, I'm gonna make the mistakes and I ain't taking this out either. We gonna learn together today. So don't do that. So it's gotta, it's gotta be real tight. So real tight. Did I just drop some over here? I think the dump is belong to that? I think so. So we gonna put it in like that. So don't do what I did, try to show everybody what it is. So we gonna wrap it, y'all. Okay. Make it stick, okay? Okay, so we gonna, we gonna try to make this as, so y'all see that? That's how it's supposed to look. I'm trying to make this really um, like no type of, so y'all see what I'm doing? I'm just trying to make it seamless, okay? That's what I'm trying to do. Take the seam out of it to make it really stick together and work together. So it's supposed to look like this. Cause this is what's gonna happen is my thumbnail. 
Now, I'm going to see if this joke will work. Now, it's supposed to make you a nice spaghetti, quick and easy for moms. So, that's one. Okay. <laughs> we got one done. I'm getting too excited, huh, y'all? Too excited. I'm so excited. I like, actually, y'all, if y'all don't know, and some of y'all don't know this about me, but I like cooking. And I'm not a cook like that, but I like cooking new stuff that I've never tried. Because I think it's more of a science to me. Like, is it going to turn out right? If I try to do this and do that, is it going to really turn out right, y'all? We're going to see the day. We're going to see the day. I'm so happy. Let me see. I just got finished talking to my sister. Um, and we just had a nice talk and everything. And so that lifted my spirits. Um, she's amazing. So I'm going to go. I'll be talking to her. And that's why I'm so happy, y'all. Because we had a lot of. We had a nice talk. And we talked about. Um, our sis. Some good memories, y'all. Good memories, okay? So. Okay, y'all. See, now. Okay, y'all. I think I need to make this tighter because this joke is like. I'm still feeling these things kind of. You got to go in on it like this. Don't be afraid of the meat now. Don't be afraid, okay? Don't be. I got my pan on right here. Don't be afraid of that meat. Get that me going. I'm talking to myself first of all, y'all. Y'all like, be, be quiet. Like you, like you a professional. Like you a chef or something. Y'all. I'm a wannabe chef. Okay, y'all see that? So, that's what. I hope this don't be washed out. So, we're going to do my thumbnail. Thumbnail's going to be like. Oh, if this thing falls some more, I'm going to have to put some more things in here. But this is going to be my thumbnail. Is you gonna see it? It's gonna be washed out. That's gonna be my thumbnail. My thumbnail basically is saying, I don't add no more. Wait, should I add in here? Maybe could. Okay. Add it right back, y'all. So if y'all do what I did, that was just trying to get a thumbnail because it looks weird to know that we got. Uh oh. Uh oh, y'all. Now we gonna have to. <laughs> y'all see how I use my chin, y'all. You gotta do something. Shoot. Don't try this at home. Nah, I'm just playing. It's easy. It's not that hard, y'all. Listen, I'm trying to put it back in. There we go. It worked. Okay, so I did it. Y'all think that was a good thumbnail? Like, they like y'all to talk back to me. I thought it was good. So, thumbnail. Like, don't know if it's gonna work or not. Okay, y'all, let me take these these things off because I'm gonna put this. Dang, this looks like it's gonna have a lot in it. Bear with me, y'all. Trying to make this work. And this better be good. This better be good, y'all. Let me take this off. Take these off. Woo! Charlie! Woo! 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 Charlie! Oh, Charlie, big man! Okay, so now I'm finna move this over. oven on if y'all hear the oven going crazy over there that that oven that 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 oven hey that 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 oven hey now i gotta put some olive oil so they this requires two tablespoons of olive oil i got me what y'all know about that 19 crimes that snoop dog red wine we got the cali red in the building we got the snoop snoop snoopity doggy dog dog in the building yes we do Yes, we do. We got that olive oil. We got that olive oil, baby. What you know about that olive oil? 
Sooties. Ooh. So that's probably about two tablespoons right there. We doing it by the eye. Y'all know it ain't. It probably ain't even nowhere near two tablespoons. But we gonna make it work like that. We gonna say it is. Okay. I got that Kathleen skillet. What y'all know about that Kathleen? What y'all know about the Kathleen? Huh? Let me know. Wait, let me know. Let me know. What you know about that Kathleen? Listen, I couldn't even. Let me tell you something. Kathleen is expensive. I couldn't even afford Kathleen back in the day. I, oh, I wouldn't never buy it because them jokers be expensive. Not that I know y'all probably know what the Kathleen is. Some of y'all be like, be please, girl. I know what Kathleen is. What you know about? Well, I didn't. I didn't. Okay, so. Y'all got y'all seasoned beef. We are going to put this in the skillet like this there. Come on now. I'm only doing, uh, they said that's how you're supposed to do it. And you're supposed to cook all sides. Y'all, I'm so excited. I can't wait. Okay. And so they also said, add add a uh, bell pepper garlic oh i should i did it i knew i was gonna do it i said i was trying not to do it but i got something on my shirt my thing that's okay y'all that's okay we're gonna get it right off i take my clothes to the cleaner so that's okay I'm gonna dry that bad boy in spot right there. And I'm gonna take this bad boy. When it goes, when it goes off, y'all take it to the place. It came right off though. It did come right out. Y'all see my big balloon arms? This is a nice jumpsuit. It's very nice yellow. It's very, very pretty. Okay, what am I doing now? Okay, so you want to brown these. They said brown these are all four sides, and that's what we gonna do. Let me give me a little thing to do with it. Let me go use this to maybe turn it on each side. So I'm gonna add, now y'all, I saute my bell peppers and my onions and garlic because I know, they said put it in the oven for 30 minutes, but I already know I don't want my stuff crunchy. So I'm gonna add this to the mixture. They say add it to the mixture. And that's what I'm doing. They want me also to add. So you got this going on as you go because that's going to make it infuse it with all the flavors. Y'all know what I'm saying? It's going to infuse it like I know what I'm talking about. It's supposed to. So we're supposed to let it pretty much brown on all four sides. So I'm just praying that that's what it does. We don't want it to get unbrowned. We don't we want it to brown on all four sides. And then it's supposed to do the rest of the stuff supposed to cook in the um I'm gonna need two forms of this. I need to be able to roll that. One thing I do hate is when you try to cook something and you really don't know. You really don't know how to cook it. Oh, it's coming out good. You really don't know how to cook it and you just you just winging it. You know what I'm saying? You just winging it because you ain't never tried it before. I'm winging this. This is a wingy dingy. This is a wingy dingy, y'all. So I'm gonna cook all four sides. So you cook all four sides to make sure you get that 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 look that brown look, you know what I'm saying? And then you're supposed to add the red wine and the tomato paste. I'm trying to roll it, y'all. Roll it, roll it, roll it on the dining room. You know it sounds better when I sing. <laughs> it's coming, it's working, y'all. It's working, it's working, it's working, it's working. 
It's working, it's working, it's working. Okay, so, but they said use uh, green pepper, green bell peppers, and use, what else they say use? Green bell peppers, onions, and yellow peppers. I use red peppers and yellow peppers. Y'all know I'm always gotta be a little extra. And so I'm gonna measure out my uh, my tomato sauce because you're gonna I'm gonna add that and then I'm gonna add my red wine and I think that we put it in the oven and we suppose and put cheese on it. I'm gonna put I'm gonna transfer this into a casserole. So with this, this is the tomato um, sauce I used when I did what did I use this for? For my tomato, my uh, Mexican pizza. So I said let me use this first. Okay, they want you to put 20 ounces in there anyway. So that ain't 20 ounces, but I wanted to use my old one first before I opened up a new can. I do have another can right here. And then the remainder of that is going to go into this container right here. After I rinse it out, of course, because you don't want to mix the old, the old uh, remaining sauce with the new because that makes it so it ain't gonna stay good as long. You know what I'm saying? So here it is. We're gonna put this up to 20 ounces. Now my stuff is already seasoned, y'all, because y'all know I already seasoned it. That's it. Okay, that's it. That's my 20 ounces. I'm making a mess. Yes, I know I'm making a mess. Okay. So we got that. I think we're ready to turn this again. So we're gonna give all four sides, y'all. We're gonna turn it as we go. I'm y'all walking you this in. Y'all gonna walk me through this. Y'all helping me, right? I'm doing this too. This is my first time shoot. So we on the fourth, the third side that we browning. So we're gonna turn this over like that, like that there. Okay, there we go. So, now, let me, let me have a drink. Psych, psycho, like a psycho, like a psycho. So how many, I mean, let me see how much I'm supposed to put in here. You're supposed to add the red wine and the, uh, I'm just gonna let this brown some more. I only need 10 ounces, 10 ounces of this red wine, red wine. So that's eight plus two. Mm, that's some real red wine, right? They said eight ounces, 10 ounces. Okay, so this is the casserole I'm gonna put in. This is the baking casserole dish. This is my shout out to Pastor Kim again. She made me this beautiful, gave me this beautiful gift. Uh, and it says, Be Loves Life. Pastor Kim. I think her name is Kim's Corner. Right? Pastor Kim's Corner. That's her YouTube. Anyways. Let me do this. I'm gonna turn this again. Y'all, this shouldn't be long. Because when I put that in the oven for 30 minutes, I am going to come back and then I'm going to show you the finished product, how it looks, how everything looks. Okay. I may have me a glass of wine with this. Who knows? If it's a sweet wine. I like that sweet wine, y'all. I don't like that. Uh... Ooh, this coming out good. Let me show y'all how it look. I want to pick it up for y'all. Yeah. So this is how it's looking, y'all. That's how it's looking. It's gonna cook more, y'all, as you go. It's gonna cook more. So what I'm gonna do is add this. I'm really about to add this in it. This cup of red wine. I'm going to put two more ounces in it. Okay. 
kind of stop the process of cooking because you know how it is. It's got to get warm again. So I'm going to add two more ounces, like they said. There we go. on your butt i already know it puts you on your butt i'm not a drink i drink but i'm not a drink drink drinker you know what i'm saying i get one one cup and i'll be like okay i'm feeling it i'm feeling it i'm feeling it okay i'm that type i'm that casual type of drinker i'm feeling it y'all so we got that going and so what i'm gonna do now is should i add this to it I think I'm gonna add this to it in the pot, in the um, pan, because it's gonna get hot anyway. This is already seasoned and everything. I'm gonna let it cook while it's in the oven, cause it's gonna get really, really hot. So I got that going. So what I'm gonna do, so I'm gonna turn this off, y'all. I'm gonna put this aside, and then we're going to add it to the pan. is already cleaned this is what we're gonna place our stuff in we are going to grab this from over here I'm gonna do this grab one right here then we're gonna grab another one the other one right here Woo! see so this is how it should look, y'all. So we got our two brown, ground beef with the spaghetti in it, okay? That's how it's looking. So now, we are going to take this mixture, which is the olive oil, the red wine, the onions, and the garlic, and we're going to put that in there. We don't want no bounce back, y'all, so we're gonna put that all in there. Ooh. We throw it all in there. Like they said. So this is how it's looking right now. Ooh, it smells good. That red wine got to smell it good. I don't even lie. Smells good. Now, we are going to take the 20 ounce of this and put it all over here. put some more in here because I want that tomato sauce they had it covered in the um, video but my stuff probably so big in the video they had it covered that's what I should do I'm gonna add the more this more I'm gonna use the tomato sauce anyway so that makes it all covered because I want them these uh yeah i use all mine so y'all um they say use 20 i think my meat was so big y'all saw a lot of, I, I put a lot of ground beef around it around mine so now here come the fun part you gotta add the mozzarella cheese now i like a lot of cheese so we finna hook it up with the cheese part okay we done with that i have this is the type of mozzarella cheese I'm using. Uh, Sargento. And this is mozzarella, y'all. Sargento. Mozzarella. Mozzarella. We're going to pour it in there. So you're supposed to just put it in the thing. For, I preheated my oven for 350. We're going to put it in there for... Be very generous with cheese, y'all. And I'm just putting it on the top of this part because it's where I want it. Of course, I'm just gonna put it in the middle part. I'm focusing on my middle because that's where I have. Don't let my thing go sleeve go in there no more. I almost got me, but I got it off, most of it. Because I got it off right away. 
the key to getting stuff off your when you get something on your clothes you got to get it off right away ladies or men or if, why do i always say that ladies like as only ladies watching me i'm so crazy my son will kill me if he said that i mean not kill me but get me y'all see that i'm being very generous with cheese they i guess they said use eight eight ounces of cheese i'm using like 16 y'all i love cheese the more gooey the better for me hey i'm using this whole bag i love cheese we're doing it again y'all we love cheese yes we do okay so we put that on the side let it fall kind of over but it's gonna melt so this is how it's looking y'all it's washed out but i'm gonna put it in the oven for 350 and i'll be back to show you how it came out 350 for 30 minutes y'all okay y'all i'm back Y'all, I'm so excited. I'm so ready to try this meal. But this is how it came out, the finished product. Y'all see that with all that cheese and stuff. So I'm hoping this is good. I am about to eat this, y'all. And I'm going to let y'all know if I like it, if I don't like it. So it may be a very, very short video if I don't like it. But if I do like it, I'm going to eat this bad boy up with my glass of wine, okay? But anyways, I put it in for... Y'all saw me uh, add the top of cheese, but I put it in there for like... Uh, they said 30 minutes, but I did it 35 minutes on 350. And it looks like it's good. Looks like it's, I'm sure it's going to be cooked all the way, hopefully. We'll see, y'all. We're going to see because y'all know how that go. But anyways, I love y'all. I'll see y'all in the video tomorrow. Y'all see how I taste this. So I'm going to go in there and eat this right now. See y'all. Peace out. Peace, love, and hair grease. And if you decide to do this video or want to try this out, just let me know or, uh, or hashtag me and I will put you in my community post saying that you tried out something that I tried out. Or if it came out good or how did you like it. Yeah, I'll watch the video. So, I'll see you guys. Peace out. Peace, love, and hair grease. What's up, my v -love? I got a sauce. Smagalicious. Mm. I got a sauce. Smagalicious. Mmm, I got a sauce. Smell delicious. I got a sauce. Smell delicious. I got a craving for some crab legs. I want boiled eggs. I want shrimp. I'm a bougie chick. A whole muck bang. Gotta have that lemon rain. And I dip everything. It's smell delicious. Mmm, beat love, beat love, beat love three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Beat love, beat love, beat love three times. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.